When I think about what really inspired me to be interested in languages and, and why I started was uh, it was my one of my first experiences when I was eight or nine years old, when my family and I, were, I'm from Ireland, and we went on holidays to Portugal. Now, we really didn't have much money. And my mom, my mother worked really hard and saved to get the money so we could go to Portugal. And my brother enjoyed the trip just in front of the TV and eating chocolate and this stuff, but um, I was more interested and I took the little tourist book and I started learning basic little phrases, you know, hola, muito obrigado and this stuff. And I started to use it in the hotel and in shops and I never forgot that positive reaction from people, you know, they're like, wow, who's this little tourist speaking our language, you know, and I, I, I never forgot that. Later in life, when I, when I started high school, I did my first class in, in French and it was just like a revelation. It's like, wow, like this is what I want to do, you know? And one of the factors was I had a really good teacher and he wasn't normally a French teacher. The French teacher normally, she had a baby, so she wasn't working that year. And uh, he normally worked with construction and woodwork and metal. So he had a different, he was very high energy. He was very big and strict and disciplined, you know? And when we were training pronunciation, he was like, stand up everybody, train the pronunciation and a lot of high energy. And I reacted really positively to this, you know. And I remember I went home that day and I told my mother, I said, I would love to speak a language you know, fluently. And what she, what she said really stayed with me. She said, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure you can do it. And it was this encouragement that really made the big factor, you know. And when I think about it, that if my mother hadn't been so encouraging, maybe I wouldn't have believed in myself. Maybe I, I would have decided, oh, it's too difficult and, and not not do it, you know, or if I hadn't gone to Portugal and uh, I, I wouldn't have had that positive reaction from Portuguese people and that, that positive reaction early in life and that crazy high energy teacher, you know, he, he helped a lot as well. 